Welcome to the how-to series. The topic for this how-to is token economies. You will see examples of token economies used with students. Reinforcement is important for students with ASD and is one type of consequence that can be provided or delivered when teaching. Simply put, Reinforcement is anything that increases the chance a desired behavior will occur again. When used effectively, reinforcement can positively influence a student's behavior and help teach vital skills. Using reinforcement can encourage and motivate a student to keep learning. There are many different types of reinforcers we can use with a student, including token reinforcers. Token reinforcers are especially important because there are times when providing an immediate reinforcer isn't always possible. Think of a token economy as an exchange system. A token economy simply allows a student to earn their reinforcer over a longer stretch of time. A token board allows a student to see their progress of earning a reinforcer and gives them a sense of what they are doing right. Tokens can be anything from paper money to poker chips to stickers to tally marks to Velcro pictures of the skill on a token board. No matter the token used, these tokens must lead to a bigger reinforcer to be effective. Finally, remember that while tokens are a great tool, they are also abstract and a student will have to be taught how to use a token board. A good way to start using tokens is by giving the token followed by access to the desired reinforcer immediately. Gradually, you can build up the student to do a longer task or multiple tasks before earning the token. Let's look at an example of a token board for a student. As you can see, this token board depicts that a student will sit at his desk. For this student, every five minutes that he sits at his desk, he receives a token. The token board shows that when the student earns all five tokens, he will receive access to a favorite toy. Token boards can always be individualized and based on a student's interests, such as using trains, cars, or other topics or items. In these next videos, you will see some examples of token economies being used in the classroom. Remember to look for the type of token economy being used with the student and watch for the student's response. No! Hi! Do this! Nice work! Try this one! Awesome! Here, it's a token! Just one! Oh man, nice work! Hey. Let's watch a let's watch a movie. Let's watch a movie. Nice job. Let's watch a movie. Awesome. High five. Thank you. Get another token. Oh, thanks. Way to go. No. What did you earn? Look, Thank you. Good, Tom. Match. 
Excellent. Get a token, man. As you can see, there are many different ways of using a token economy with a student. In all the videos, you should have noticed that the teacher provided the student with a token reinforcer and that the token economy helped the student be successful. Now that you have seen some examples of token economies, remember, reinforcement is important for students with ASD. There are many different types of reinforcers we can use with a student, including token reinforcers. Token reinforcers are especially important because there are times when providing an immediate reinforcer isn't always possible. Token economies allow a student to see their progress toward earning a reinforcer over time. Tokens can be anything from paper money, to poker chips, to stickers, to tally marks. No matter the token used, these tokens must lead to a bigger reinforcer in order to be effective. Finally, remember that while tokens are a great tool, they are also abstract and may need to be introduced slowly and taught over time.